Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a stationery haul for you because I just got back from Japan. So this is a Japanese stationery haul which I'm so excited to go through all the goodies that I got over there. I spent around a year planning this trip so I had a big savings budget for this trip. So um, I just wanted to make that as a bit of a disclaimer. This isn't me splurging. This is literally the money that I save for the trip. So before we get started, I just wanted to quickly show you these two little guys. Um, I actually won them at the winter festival we went to. Oh, you got it! Yeah. <laughs> I won, I won, I won! Good, I I won a little froggy, I won twice! <laughs> I filmed a lot of the trip and a lot of the shops I went into, so if you do want to see them, I've got lots of vlogs there. Um, but I also wanted to put a few little clips into this video, showing you where I got a few little things from. So I know these guys aren't stationary, um, but I also filmed me getting some gacha pong um, and also getting some more little bits and pieces. So I'll put them through as well. Um, so enjoy the video and I'll run through everything bit by bit. So this is the first little shop I wanted to show you. Now, I actually Googled it. And it's called Amletron. Is that how you pronounce it? Amletron. And um, basically, it's a store in Koenji. So I will put this address in the description box just because I literally stumbled across it while walking through Koenji. Um, I have no idea. I can't give you exact directions. But knowing that I found the store online, I'll put the address in. And um, yeah, hopefully you can stumble across it too. So, it literally, from the outside, it looks like a little bookshop. And I didn't even know if it was open because it was New Year's Day or New Year's Eve that I got all this stuff. Oh, yeah, there's the, there's the business card. All right, perfect. So, there's the business card. Oh, it's so cute. I'm going to put this in my Japanese journal. I'm going to do a journal spread in my next video. Very, very cute. So this is the shop. I didn't plan on going here. As I mentioned before, I literally stumbled across it and they had the most beautiful stationery. The next shop I went to was the Ghibli store. I was so excited when I was in there. Um, let me just do a quick close up. I got some washi tape, some socks, some stationary little um, figurines, and I also have one more big one at the back there. But let me show you cute little May in the cat bus. How cute are they? She's got a little corn and a little shoe that went missing. And then the cat bus is pretty cute. I'm gonna go put them next to my Kiki and my Sophie from How's Moving Castle. So next are the washi tapes, and they're actually a two set, all of them. So these were my favorites. I've actually seen a lot of these before. I just wanted to get some sets um, for my own. But as you can see, we've got the Kiki's Delivery Service, House Moving Castle, and Spirited Away sets. I really, really like them. So I'll show you in future videos um, in detail what they look like. But yeah, I really wanted them for my collection. <laughs> as you can see, I also got the socks from Kiki's Delivery Service. They're so cute, I can't wait to try them on. These next two are actually little envelopes and they match my teacups I got last time I went to Japan. 
and the prints on them are just adorable. I also couldn't go there without getting a postcard, so I'm going to put that one on my wall. I also got some planner stickers, and as you can see, there's a pattern on all my favourite <laughs> Studio Ghibli um, movies. I really, really adore. Kiki's Delivery Service, Spirit Away and Totoro are my favourites. And then I also got these badges. I haven't even opened them up yet. So let's see what's inside. So I got the My Name of Totoro, 1988. Very cute. So this is the next little lucky dip that I got. And I really, really, really want this one here. Oh my goodness, I love it. I've never seen a badge like this before. It is so cute. And it's got embroidery all over it. I love this so much. And lastly, I got this calendar. I can't wait to open it up. Let me set it up for you and I'll show you the full set. This is so cool. Got the big Totoro looking over them. I really, really like it. I'm gonna have to find a new spot for them, but so far. I didn't actually realize, but I actually went to Tokyo Hands twice. <laughs> so we have two little hauls for these ones. Let me just unpack them. Holy moly, I didn't actually realize how much stationery I actually bought on this trip. So this is all the stuff I got from Tokyo Hands. I'm going to put some sound on now just so you're not hearing my voice. And we'll quickly go through each one of them. And when I say sound, I actually meant music. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of stuff from the Travelers factory. So I got a Travelers notebook and lots of inserts. I'm actually not going to show you one by one what I got from this store just because this shop, this video, sorry, is going to be very long and I'm actually going to put everything together, like put the notebook together and start putting all my pages together and laying everything out, putting my clip on and putting my little um, charm on as well. So instead of showing you one by one, I'm actually going to just make an entire video dedicated to putting my traveler's notebook together. So if you want to see that video, please keep an eye out. I'll make that over the next couple of weeks. Next is a shop called Kakimori and I've actually got a vlog where I'm making this notebook, but basically I made this notebook, I picked the cover, I picked the back cover, I picked the clip, I picked what was going to go inside, um, I've got envelopes, gridded paper, um, sorry you can just see the train behind, oh I don't know what that is, um, but basically yeah, it was really fun making this, I'd highly recommend anyone going to Japan to check out this shop because um, it was really cool to make your own notebook. But as I said, I've actually got a video where I go and create this notebook. So go check out my Japan vlogs. It's in my stationery shopping video. Next was a shop called Rappel and they actually had a huge washi tape collection. Although I was a bit overwhelmed. So I got these washi tape stick, stick like sorry, they're kind of like memo kind of sticker pads. They look sort of like washi tape strips, although they come off one by one. So I thought they were really, really cute. I also got these three washi tapes here. I will be using these within my next journal spread, so keep an eye out for them. And then I also just got this really cute envelope set which is adorable and mini and I really want to create another little mini snail mail. Now my light's going really fast. 
because it's the afternoon so I'm trying to do this as quick as possible so sorry that I am rushing through it but you will see me use a lot of this stationery in the future. Next I actually went to the Carl Tea Shop. I really 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 wanted to go to this place because I knew that it was based in Tokyo and I got the cutest tea they actually gave me. Sorry let me just... They gave me all this extra wrapping which I'm going to be putting into my little journal and little bags which I thought was adorable and then they wrapped my tea as well because I said it was a gift because I always say it's a gift. Let me just do a close up. How adorable! I think this is so cute. I'll show you what's inside but I'm keeping all this wrapping. Firstly I had to get this Hello Kitty tea because I just thought it was amazing, gorgeous and smelt delicious. It's an apple tea. I also got it because the wrapping's cute <laughs> and it sort of seemed like traditional to get the um, Hello Kitty from Japan if I was going all the way over there. So now I have my own Hello Kitty tea. <laughs> Next is this ridiculously adorable tin and I actually picked my own flavours to put in the tin. Alright. So we have Goodnight Herb. Oh wait, can you see this? I'll make sure it's in focus. Alright. So we have Goodnight Herb. Children. We've just got the Green Herb. We've got the Milk Tea. I had to get this one. It was the Alice in Wonderland one and I was not going past until I purchased it. This is a little book lover. I think all the wrapping's adorable. I got another Alice in Wonderland because I had to. This white peach tea. And then I got another Alice in Wonderland because you guys know how obsessed I am and I wanted the wrapping. And then this cute little one here, the girl's tea. So I would highly recommend going to the store if you are a tea lover. Not only is the wrapping adorable, but the tea is actually so delicious. So I'm gonna be putting all of these in my journal once I've drunk them. But yeah, that is what I got from the cute, adorable tea shop. I don't know if many of you have seen this Studio Ghibli movie, but it's Grave of the Fly Fly, Fireflies. It's actually a really good movie. Um, it's not commonly spoken about, but I actually got the tin. So if anyone knows what I'm talking about, this is the hard candy that the girl eats throughout the war. And I thought it was so adorable that I had to buy it. And I really don't want to eat the candy, but I really want to try it at the same time. So I'm so happy I got this. It was only like about $3, I think. So it was super cheap. And I can't wait to keep it in my little collection, but I might also taste it as well. <laughs> so staying on track of the lollies, I also got this box candy. And I got it from the oldest candy shop in... Japan and I really want to put the clip of me going to this shop in the video now so basically as you can see on this postcard um, this is what so, um, someone must have designed this but a little old lady was standing behind the shop and I'm pretty sure it opened in 1971 and I've got the footage I'll play it now but basically it's in the middle of Ikebukuro and it's right next to a beautiful old temple and um, yeah, this shop is the oldest um, lolly shop, so I had to go there. I got some sweets. I already ate some over there, but I highly recommend if anyone wants to go check it out. I'll also put the name of the store in the description box because I thought it was such a cool piece of history and it also had really cute lollies all throughout it as well. So I found the candy store um, and when I was googling it the internet actually said that they've referenced it in one of the Studio Ghibli movies only yesterday so I'll show you it I've just found it. sweet so we can try. So second last bit of stationery. This is a very long video. I don't know if I bought this much stationery in my entire life but this is actually from Loft so let me open it up and I'll show you what I got.
So I just realised that this is actually a combination of the stuff I got from Loft and the Japanese dollar store called Can Do. So I'm pretty sure the things that I got for a dollar were these Hello Kitty stickers. So let me just quickly show you. And as, as you can see, I've already used them in my journal. I'm pretty sure I got these from Kendo. So these are the sushi stickers and they're a bit shiny. I'm pretty sure I also got this dog set because I went to the Akita um, Kendo store up in the snow and the dog is the main sort of mascot of the town. So those three I'm pretty sure I got from Kendo. The rest, oh no wait. Oh, I can't remember if I got these from Loft or Kendu. I'm pretty sure this one was from Kendu. So, um, a little letter set. I'm not sure about this one. This one may have been from Loft, but it's this adorable um, letter set as well. It's a little Snoopy set. And then, as I remember, I think the rest is from Loft. <laughs> As you can see, I got these adorable stickers and they're Japanese themes, so they're things like traditional foods, things that you find at amusement parks, and I just love that they're a little bit shiny. Um, and yeah, as I said, these ones from For Loft. I also got this washi tape that you will not be able to see because it's probably not going to focus, but it's just this adorable woodland themes um, washi tape that again it's a bit shiny as well. I actually used it in my journal spread, my last one, so you can check it out if you want to see it. These are so cute. Bika Bika! Um, I like this one because he was actually holding a little letter. I thought it was adorable, but again it's got that shiny nature to it. So those ones are envelopes. I got this one just because it said Happy New Year and it said 2020 so I thought it was quite unique. It's very cute. And there's a few postcards in here, so I want to give a few of these out. And then lastly, but not least, I got these letter sets. And I can't wait to show you these ones. They are amazing. I love them so much. And then this one's a similar brand. And a little mini letter sets. So, that's all the stationery I got from Japan. Lastly, I'll just go through my little gachapong and then I'll show you a bit of footage of me getting it. So these are all the gachapong I got on my trip. I'll play a bit of footage first and then I'll show you what's inside each one. <laughs> Coming in. Um, I really wanted one of these because they're all over Japan as well, in all the little parks. <gasps> How cute! So those are all the gacha gacha that I got from Japan. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!